All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the update of my 1000 day challenge. This is day 602, so let's get things started. All right, in terms of balance wise, nothing much has changed. Actually, they closed in terms of the experimental strata for both Bitcoin and Ethereum is that my target profit. But that's not exactly, uh, that's partially experimental, partially kind of a price action trade, I would say, but on a shorter term frame, because I did notice, like what I mentioned, there was a very nice bullish market structure on the four hour chart. So I was looking for potential uh, long setup in terms of a shorter term frame, and I did manage to enter in terms of that and I took profit after this. Yeah, so that's just a very nice uh, little swing trade that I did manage to notice it. But otherwise, uh, looking across the board, I would say that uh, potentially for next week, for a little bit of a bear market or pullback wise is more likely or a little bit of bearish momentum, simply because we hit the key resistance wise and the way we hit the resistance wise was uh, good, good and bad in a sense that we hit direct uh, it's basically like a direct strong hit. As you can see over here, it's a very strong hit. So it's tentatively for a weak rejection at the very minimum is very much highly likely, especially when it's getting a key resistance once, key resistance twice. Um, very much potential to see some sort of weak pullback and then you could potentially see the negative news by the analyst next week again. But if this pullback is actually weak and find this area as a support, which is around the 44k region itself, then potentially we could continue towards the upward side itself. So the bearish momentum could potentially still continue, so we have to see how things go itself. Yeah, so on the daily chart, somewhere around the 14k region itself. So what ASHR uh, today actually opens a little bit lower. As you can see yesterday, so we're consolidating over here, like what I mentioned. The key thing is that we have to break above this 20 exponential moving average to gain strength. If not, we do, do see potential further downside, especially for ASHR. And KWEB, in other words, will also potentially see the same thing. Uh, we still definitely need to break this 50 simple moving average on the daily chart. We've been rejected once, rejected twice, and now we are facing resistance to even touch it right now. So until that, uh, until the fact that we have crossed above it, I would still say that I'm leaning a little bit more cautious towards the bearish side of things. Of course, we could definitely still reverse if we do have a weak bounce, like I mentioned. Uh, when I mentioned in terms of Fibonacci retracements, why it's basically mentioned if you take the low, which is somewhere around here, to the top over here, what we do not want it to retrace is retracement and 0.618 retracement, which is the 25.15 level right now. So if it doesn't go below that and it bounces up from there, then tentatively it could potentially have been a clear confirmation of a capitulation. And then buyers are actually camping over there to buy at a discount in that sense before we have a push towards the upside. But in any case, if we do fall below that and no clear support do come in, then of course the sellers could get the signal and could be more willing to sell because they are looking to not uh, right it further down in that sense. All right, otherwise, that's more or less about it. Uh, oh yeah, and touching on the Bitcoin wise, like I mentioned, we definitely hit the key resistance here. This is very nice uh, sim uh, ascending triangle kind of a formation. So this is like the first pick, the second pick, third pick. So I do expect some sort of rejection over here. The key thing is that are we able to stay above the 20 and 50 simple moving average? on the daily chart itself, in which case it could mark a potential reversal in terms of trend, and we could have a continuation towards the upside. But in other words, if we get heavily rejected and break below these two key, uh, these two moving averages itself, definitely we could see much further downside as well. So otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.